What's good, y'all? L Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. Now, this joint right here is about all the live and official dudes from around my way, the BX that held it down up north, you heard, or in prison and jail in general. Yeah, B, I'm going to shout y'all dudes out because y'all dudes held it down for the borough. You understand what I'm saying? Now, first dude I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with my guy Shorts. Yeah, man, Puerto Rican Shorts, man. First time I heard about my guy Shorts, man, you know what I'm saying? I was running around with Colin, Fafa, you know what I'm saying? My man Shaba, my man Guard, you know what I'm saying? And we was running around being a menace, you know what I'm saying? We had the mean team, 163rd and um, Sherman, between Sherman and Grant, called the Blue Top Posse, you heard? It was me, Colin, Fafa, um, um, Queen, Sean, Shaba, um, um, Derek Lloyd, Lil Al, Damien, Stevie, um, Fio, um, um, Lil Trife, um, Kyo, God bless the dead, um, Fife, you heard, um, Cameron, you heard, everybody, yo, and I'm, for, pardon me if I'm forgetting dudes, but that's how many of us, and we was all 15 to 18 years old. You heard? We was all for like 15 to 18 years old. And um, and Shorts was locked up in DFY at this time. You know what I'm saying? And um, they used to always talk about Shorts. My man Colin, you heard? My man Colin got um, deported back to Jamaica. I did the story on Colin, you heard? How it came up and got caught the beef with my block because of me, you heard? You know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah, my man Colin used to always talk about shorts, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, B, we used to call him Brian, you heard? And he's like, yo, man, miss my man Brian shorts, B, can't wait till he come back around, B, he locked up right now. So I was always hearing about him, man, he was my age, and always hearing about him putting in that work, busting his gun, you heard? He was a young nigga, like niggas like 13, 14, busting their gun crazy, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So now, boom, this is like years later, I think shorts come wind up coming home, Boom, boom, me and Shorts meet each other, we click, you heard? Boom, now, fast forward, me and my man Shorts, we did shit together, you heard? Everything was real, you know what I'm saying? My man always know all the fish you cats, you know what I'm saying? This is in the street, he hanging, he hang uptown, with, um, with Bish Me and them niggas, you know what I'm saying? He he fuck with Tech and all them niggas, Bish Me, Harrison and all them, you know what I'm saying? The gun busting niggas from Uptown, Honey Third, you know what I'm saying? So I always knew about my guy Shorts, he was connected, you know what I'm saying? He was a young nigga, but he was connected, you know what I'm saying? So now let's fast forward in prison, you heard? We, I'm in prison, I go to jail, boom, I run into Shorts, you know what I'm saying? I, now, I, I always heard he was doing his thing on the island, 1993, 1994, and all that, he was on the island doing his thing, doing his thing, went home, and then he wound up getting locked back up. He was in the cat back in the days in 92, 93, doing his thing, you heard, running with the guy, my guy, Michael Brown, you heard from around my way, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and, um, years later, I run into shorts in Clinton, you heard? I run into shorts in Clinton. Now we older, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, he been in jail for a minute. I've been in jail for like two years. You know what I'm saying? Three going on two. We had two years. You know what I'm saying? So I run into him in Clinton. Boom. When I get to Clinton, shorts like yo. I, as soon as I go in the yard, I run in. I run into my man shorts, Dusty, Feet though, and um, Mo Blind. You heard? All of them come to the yard. So boom, I'm spinning the yard with shorts, Feet though. And Dusty, you heard? And and, and and them niggas, and nigga feet though bugging. He like, yo, how you know Dusty? Nigga, I'm like, that Dusty, my man. Nigga, Dusty, I was with Dusty in 91 on the island, in Mar 9. Nigga, murder Mar 9. My man Dusty had three ice picks, nigga. You heard? Nobody had no artillery like my man Dusty in there. Nobody had no artillery like my man Dusty in there. My man Dusty had three ice picks. The niggas didn't even know he had three ice picks until he was ready to let niggas know he had something. You heard? And he only let niggas know he only had one. You heard? So, and when niggas did put in work with that ice pick The warden came to the block The warden came to the house I don't give a damn if y'all stab and cut each other up But y'all gonna give up that ice pick That's what the warden said of Rikers Island 1991 nigga You heard? Cause the nigga got stabbed one of them ice picks B. You heard? My man Dusty had three of them So as soon as I The first day I was in the yard I'm spinning the yard with my man Dusty Shorts and my man Fito 
He go by two feet, you heard? You know what I'm saying? They was calling him Spot. You know what I'm saying? And um, we walk, we walking around the yard, and they like my man feet, feet are like, yo, lad, man, you ain't being blood no more. You down with that blood shit? I'm like, yeah. He like, yo, them niggas is pussy here. You can't fuck with them niggas. And, and then my man Shorts jumped in, was like, nah, B, how you gonna tell lad what he could do? Boo? Even though I wasn't listening to him anyway, it was just the point that this is my man from the street, and he's telling me some real shit that the blood is pussy here. You know what I'm saying? And right, right amongst my eyes. That's uh, like, like 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 15 minutes later. I watched the blood get blown up. I mean, I watched the blood. I already seen the blood get blown up earlier that day. Got stabbed like 20 times. You heard? And now I, then I seen I seen the nigga get humiliated in the yard with, in front of all about 30 bloods. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, B. So um, my man Shorts, he start me and him. We pulled off from feet throwing them niggas, and he started walking me around the whole yard, letting me know where where, where niggas had weapons at. He's like. Got a flathead right there. Niggas got a niggas got a niggas got a bone crusher right here. Nigga, nigga like tomorrow I'ma get you, I'ma get you a gym star or a scalp or something, you heard? I'm like, oh, alright. You know what I'm saying? We smoking, bro. We went to his courts, cause Clinton got courts. Like, it's, it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a it's like an area, a little, a little boxed off area with a, you know, like a, you know, the, you know, the metal garbage cans, where they give you a half of a garbage can of the metal garbage cans and you, you cook on that shit, you heard? People be cooking in the yard and all that, and then you get it like a little picnic table, and you get a couple of cabinets, like two or three cabinets on your court. And there's about hundreds of courts on there, y'all, in the yard, hundreds of them. And it's six mans to a court. So we went to Short's court, and, and we kicked the Willie Bobo, you heard? And Short's was, sh sh we was smoking a blunt. We, I think we were smoking a blunt or two, you heard? And, um, I, I was I was floating in the yard my first day in the yard fucking with shorts because I'm like damn B I'm dumb high you heard and then the nigga that got stabbed 20 times came over to my man shorts and was like yo yo um um I got beef right now you got a gun for me or whatever whatever and my man shorts was like nah I ain't got nothing for you you heard and um I I watched the nigga go over to the bloods politicking with the bloods and then the nigga. Went to the hill. They politicked it with the dude that stabbed him 20 times. They went to the hill. Next thing you know, them niggas was fighting. And the nigga, the blood nigga tried to pull out a razor at the last minute. Nigga picked the blood nigga up. Threw the nigga on the gate. The nigga rolled down the gate on the floor. Dropped the weapon. The nigga picked the weapon up. Threw the weapon. And then beats, contends to beating the nigga up. Kicking the nigga, beating the nigga up. Till the police came. You heard? And I'm watching the whole shit. And then that's why I'm, then my man said, see, that's why I told you you can't fuck with them blood niggas, lad. And I'm like, chill, B. And then my man Shorts like, yo, if you fuck with them niggas, lad, you got to take that shit over, B. You know what I'm saying? You got to take that shit over. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, I was thinking like, yeah, I got to take that shit over. I got to take this shit over if I fuck with this shit, you heard? Because this shit crazy. Everybody got love for my man Shorts. The whole jail know my man Shorts, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my man Shorts and Dusty and them was doing their thing in there, man. They was doing their thing, nigga. You heard? Had me smoking blunts. As soon as I got to Clinton, I'm talking about the first day in the yard, nigga. I'm smoking blunts. You heard? Spinning the yard. My man telling me we got a gun there. We got a gun there. We got a gun here. You heard? I'm gonna get tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get you a, a gym star scalpel. You heard? This is how this is how my man was rolling. As soon as I hit the spot, my guy shorts. You heard? Fissure tissue. You know what I'm saying? Then. Um, him and him and my man Dusty, they wound up getting in something with the rat hunters. Sammy and them niggas, you heard? Sammy and them niggas, um, um, did some bullshit with the porter, you heard? Um, and um, but my man Dusty came out, stood tall, you heard? Ed niggas out, you know what I'm saying? And my man Shorts wound up get going down and, and leaving the spot, you heard? They sent them to the double bunk box. My man Dusty went to the went to the box. I think Dusty went to Southport because. They gave Dusty like two and a half years for stabbing a nigga for playing with him, you heard? Niggas was playing with niggas, you heard? Yeah, them rat hunting niggas was playing with niggas. And um, Nick, um, my man Dusty came out and stabbed stabbed one of them rat hunting niggas' doges, you heard, up there in Clinton. Stabbed fire out that nigga, you heard? Right in front of the police. And my man Dusty was going to the board the next month, you heard? <laughs> That's how really be. Niggas going to the board the next month, niggas still got to put that work in, you heard? Yeah, my man Dusty. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy Dusty from, from down Jefferson Projects down there, you heard? Yeah. My man Dusty from Harlem, you heard? Put it in. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from Dusty, Murder Mar 9. You heard? I used to lock right I mean, I used to, my bed was right next to him. You heard? He was schooling me to that shit, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Quiet nigga. 
butt, got a temper. When he get mad, niggas, 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 niggas shake the world. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas, niggas shake the shit up like an earthquake. You know? Yeah, B. So my man Shorts, niggas was chilling up there in Clinton, doing them, getting the bag, going down every other weekend, smoking blunts, doing what they want to do. You heard? Guns everywhere, no beef. Niggas ain't want no beef until that shit jumped off. My man Dutchie came out, aired the nigga out. You heard? Niggas know about that movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about movies like that. My people make movies. Now look. So then I, I ain't never was I ain't never was with shorts no more at, after that. But I was hearing about him. He was every jail he go to, he do the same thing. Get to the bag, hold it down, do his thing. You heard? And he hold down the peoples from around the way. You heard? If you official tissue, even if he hold, he hold niggas down. You know what I'm saying? You around the way. He don't even got to know you from the street. You around the way, you official, he hold you down, you heard? Official, my guy Shorts, BX legend, you heard? Living legend, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Even when I came home, when he came home, he, he my man Shorts did a lot of time on that bid. So I came home before him. So boom, I came home regular, boom, boom, boom. My man Shorts came home, he took off. You know what I'm saying? He running around, he, he he's running around, he he doing, he doing, he doing music videos. You heard? He, um, he, um, he, he in the music game, you know what I'm saying? He running around. He was he was running around with Lucky Dawn. I told y'all he had me out at the Lucky Dawn video shoot with Maino. You heard? Yeah, man. He had me out in, the, in Brownsville. You heard? Yeah, he had me out in the Ville. Remember, go back to that story. Shoot out in Brownsville, Lucky Dawn video. You heard? In Maino, Lucky Dawn and Maino video off the wall. Got into it was a real shootout out there. That little dirty nigga from Brooklyn tried to come through on a bike, try to buck at niggas. Nick, and niggas was on deck for that nigga, you heard? Word of my mother, niggas was on deck for that nigga, you heard? Brownsville, it's gully, you heard? Every time I go to Brooklyn, it's, I, it's always, I always, it was a, always a shooting or something, B, you heard? You know what I'm saying? And word of my mother, I went out there for that, my man Shorts had me out there for the Lucky Dawn, made no sh um, video shoot, and um, basically, some little, that little dirty nigga from Brooklyn, I, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep him nameless, but the nigga came through on the bike. Everybody know that he 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 was busting his gun at that time. Niggas tried to kill that little nigga, B. That nigga tried to pop niggas. Niggas tried to kill that little nigga at that Lucky Dog Million on video shoot. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And niggas ain't go nowhere. About a thousand police pulled up. Niggas had um gunshot wounds in the in the Jaguar. One of them dude out there from Ville. God bless the day. He got killed. You heard? Official dude. Was out there with him. Shorts introduced me to him. I was out there with him. I party with him. Um, him, Mano, because we later on that night and the next night we went to a strip club and all that. I hung out with Mano and him all weekend. You heard that that weekend. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, B. You heard? My man Shorts had me out there with, with, with all the official niggas. I, I ran into official niggas. I was up north with a few niggas. I was up north with from Brooklyn. You heard? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, B. BK official, you know what I'm saying? He had me out there with all the official BK, the dude Wink, the um, um, from, um, from, um, the dude Wink, um, the dude on the motorcycle, the dude that be riding the motorcycle, the light skinned dude that had that beef with 50. You heard he was out there. You heard Brownsville was out there. All the gangsters was out there. All the gangsters was out there, B. All the gangsters was out there for that Lucky Dawn Mano um video shoot. What's up? What's happening, partner? You heard? You heard? That shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? And I was in that video. Go check the video. But yeah, my man Shorts had me out there with that. Then my man Shorts went and was down there with, running around with 50. He was doing security with 50 in them. Yeah, man. My man Shorts was my man Shorts was doing the Summer Jam stage that day. You heard? With Slowbox. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. My man was making moves, man. So my man did his thing, came home, and he doing his thing, man. A good dude, man. You heard? Always held it down And in jail His first first bid on the island Was bugging out You know what I'm saying No all the lob niggas Like I told you he, he was in DFY before You know what I'm saying Busting his gun in the street Got a lot of respect Got a lot of love You know what I'm saying You know what I'm saying And always kept it solid My guy Shorts You heard That's the first guy You heard Always kept it official You know what I'm saying He from around my way And he from uptown You heard You know what I'm saying Honey third Kingsbridge Fordham All that You heard yeah, man, my man Shorts, get around, everybody know him, especially that been down, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Now, the next dude I got to talk about from around the way that was holding it down, 
was my guy Money Mark. Yeah, man, Money Mark, man. Everybody don't know. Everybody know my guy Money Mark, Big Diesel Money Mark that got deported. Now I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's true, but I, they said that Money Mark died. God bless the dead if Money Mark died. But if he's, you know, you know how this internet joint is. Some people be thinking having misinformation. Some people be saying that people be dead, and then you be hearing that people still be alive. Then you be hearing, you be thinking that people still be alive, and then you be hearing that. Somebody will jump on in and say that people passed away or people is dead. So I don't know if my man Money Mark is dead, but Money Mark is my guy. You know what I'm saying? Money Mark is from my block. He, I'm from Walton, but he from down. He from down by McKellen and all that. You heard? You know what I'm saying? McKellen in 166. You know what I'm saying? In the concourse in Walton and all that. You heard? And um, I remember one time it was me and my man Black. We chilling, we chilling at the store on the newsstand on 161st in Walton. Just chilling at the... On, at the newsstand, in front of the newsstand, you heard with nothing to do, talking shit, laughing, joking, snapping, and this nigga Money Mark come come about the train station. This nigga got a tank top. No, he got a he got a white shirt on. You heard, and um, this nigga this nigga Diesel out like this nigga big as all outdoors. He just came from Devois. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so but when he left, the nigga was skinny like a motherfucking toothpick. You heard? So now. This nigga, this nigga big and diesel and all that. But this is DFY. He coming from DFY. So nigga, we like, so he's we the first dudes he see getting off the train. Money Mark. My guy Mark. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Boom. So now he we the first dudes he seeing from the hood getting off the train. Cause he getting off the train on one city. He lived close, he lived in between 167 and 161st. But he getting off the train on 161st so he could walk through 161st, walk through one walk one sixty first and walking and walk through one sixty first to 164, 165, to his hood. You heard he want to walk the whole strip to his block, coming home. Boom. We the first niggas he seen coming out the train station. Yo, what's up, y'all? Boom, boom, I just came home. We like, oh, shit, what up, Mark? We call him Mark, regular Mark. He ain't money Mark yet, you heard? So, boom, he like, yo, he like, yeah, he mad diesel. Div Y diesel, though, you heard? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, shit, this nigga Mark is dumb diesel. Now, see, look, from seeing Mark, I always said in my mind from seeing Mark, I said, damn, if I ever have to do time, I didn't want to do time, but I, I ain't want to get caught. But I said, if I ever had to do time, I'm working out. I'm going to jail. I ain't going to be in there um, just bugging out or doing, stressing out and all that. I'm going to be in there getting that money. You heard? Getting that money. Putting in that work. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be in there putting in that work. So Money Mark was was mad diesel when he was young. He was only like 14, 15, you heard? You know what I'm saying? 15, not even 16 probably at the time, you heard? So then they got like, they got like, yo, what's up, y'all? Yo, yeah, I miss y'all niggas, man. Yo, they had me up there in DFY, boom. I forgot what joint he was in, but he was start, that he just started going into all his war stuff. Yeah, I was fighting niggas, fucking niggas up. Yeah, I lost a few fights, but Money Mark was like, yo, I was fucking niggas up. And another thing about Money Mark, Money Mark is Jamaican, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's Jamaican or he 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 wanted he wanted them, he want he fuck he come from one of them with, with but people was dark skinned, but they talk. They, I, they, they, I think they talk Spanish. You heard? I think. He, I, th I think. I'm not sure. He, he. He's not. He's not black. You know what I'm saying? He's Jamaican or something. You heard? You know what I'm saying? He come from the islands, one of them islands or something. You heard? But anyway, this nigga Mark. He's telling about how he was fighting niggas, beating niggas up up there in DFY. This nigga Mad Diesel, y'all. Mad Diesel. I'm talking about he got a regular white T-shirt on, but that nigga muscles is busting out of this shit on some young shit, 16 year old shit. He got the glow. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, this nigga Mark. He tell, yo, he's sitting there. He's sitting there with us, no exaggeration. This nigga Money Mark sitting there with me and my man Black for like an hour telling us war stories. We was the first niggas that he, he seen when coming home. You heard? Boom. He was like, yo, he let that nigga go. That nigga start walking down the block. That nigga walked with the 65th. The nigga, 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 I probably, that nigga probably ain't making home to the morning time. You heard? Because I know that nigga went to 65th, 165th and chill with them niggas down there and talk to them niggas heads off. You heard? So boom. After that, Money Mark was on his shit. This nigga coming through the hood. Walking down the block. You can't tell that nigga nothing. That nigga the most dieselest nigga in the hood. Ain't nobody in the hood big like Mark. And Mark's still a kid. You heard? Mark's still a kid. That nigga Mark was my man, nigga. Mark was my man because him and Colin was mans. You heard? So him and Colin was had a good relationship. So so that nigga, that nigga Mark loved me, B. You heard? I just had a thing where all the gangster, all the tough niggas, they always had love for me, man. You know what I'm saying? They always had love for me. So this nigga Mark, every time I used to see him, he always showed me love. Every time I used to see him. Every time I used to see him, he always showed me love. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, B, this nigga Mark running around, mad diesel. He picking niggas, he choking niggas out, play, niggas playing with him. 
This nigga snapping and all that. That nigga, that nigga don't like you. That nigga, that nigga picked the nigga up from my block by his neck and, and, and had him up on the wall. And was like, nigga, stop playing with me for I, I crush you. You heard? Yo, word to my mother. This nigga Mark had a nigga by the neck from the block that was joking with him. And was like, yo, man, I seen you on 61st acting like a bitch, nigga. You was with them 161st niggas, nigga. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Don't play with me, B. You heard? Nigga Mark was a funny nigga, B. Had that nigga off his, off his feet on the wall like this with his neck. You heard? Nigga from my block. You heard? Nigga from my building. You know what I'm saying? The whole block was out there. We was laughing, nigga, like, yo, this nigga Mark crazy, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Then we heard Mark got locked up in a serious case, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Mark got locked up for a body. Then Mark was in jail. Now, I never ran into Mark in jail, but they said Mark was official in jail. Mark was locked up on the island like in 90, in the 4 building. He had his little name. If It's, it's stories out there where niggas mention my guy Money Mark. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Nick? My man, my money, Money Mark, always held it down. You heard? And um, I heard he, even, he, he married a CO chick. I heard he had bagged a CO chick. Once he turned to Delt, he married a CO chick. And then he was up up north. And, and, and one thing about Mark, Money Mark, not only was he holding it down, and everybody that came through that he fucked with, he, he, if he was official, he fucked with you. Everybody that I ran into that ran into Mark, they always said that he he, he kept it a hundred with them. One of my mans, he was so crazy on that on that on that working out shit. He was like them niggas in the book. You heard? You would think he was taking steroids and all that. You heard? He used to have them COs from Attica on his dick. You heard? Them niggas was on his dick. I heard them COs was on his dick. That's how big he was. You heard? Them niggas used to watch him work out. Them niggas used to, them niggas used to talk to him. I heard them niggas used to bring him um, creatine in and all. Word the mother be. I heard that nigga with the truth, nigga. My man Mark was like something out the book. You know what I'm saying? And he was a fish, you nigga. You heard? He was a fish, you nigga. Anytime it was um, some shit with some Bronx niggas or some real niggas, my man Mark was there. You heard? Niggas know my man Mark was holding it down. You heard? You know what I'm saying? My man Mark did a lot of time. I forgot how much time he did. He did over 15, 16 years. You heard? And um, I think they deported him. And um, if you out there, Mark, man, salute, man. Salute, B. My, my nigga. You heard? Money Mark. Biggest nigga in the world. You heard? I heard that nigga turned out to be one of the biggest dudes in the system. You heard? He turned out to be one of the biggest dudes in the system, B. Anybody that was in the jail with Money Mark, they know about Money Mark, B. You heard? My man from the hood, my man Shaba, he running the Money Mark. I think he was in Bear Hill with Money Mark. You heard? This nigga Money Mark had this nigga Shaba doing some crazy shit on, on, with, with, on the workout tip. Doing some shit, lifting shit he can't lift. Um... Squatting shit he can't squat Yo, this nigga Money Mark My man Shaba said that And he couldn't he couldn't hide from Money Mark or nothing He had to come out, he had to work out with that nigga That nigga was a workout beast You know what I'm saying? This nigga looked like something from out the book Something crazy, you heard? He said that nigga was on creatine Everything, B <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That nigga was crazy, B Lifting the gym, you heard? Lifting the whole yard You know what I'm saying? My man Money Mark, you heard? I think he got deported, and I, I, they say he passed away, but I don't know how true that is. So rest in peace to my man Money Mark if he did pass away, but salute to him if he alive, you heard? And salute to my guy Colin, too, that got deported to Jamaica, you heard? That was my guy. I told y'all the story on him, but him and Money Mark was dumb cool, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, my guy Money Mark, you heard? So that's number two. And um, number three... Let me see who I'm, who I'm gonna go with, B. From the hood that was really repping, B. You know what I'm saying? Behind that wall, holding it down for the town. You heard? I got I gotta go with my man 400. Yeah, B. 400, man, my guy. You heard? Salute to my guy 4. You heard? I know him from the block, from the hood. You know what I'm saying? I used to be in his house. Playing video games and all that I remember one time when I was in a group home I used to come home for every weekend Every other weekend or every weekend And um We used to be going up in 400 house You heard, you know what I'm saying And um, 400 came up official You know what I'm saying And um, we was in this house And I remember one one time I went I, 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 used, to come on a week, I used to come on Friday And I used to have to go back to the group home on Sunday 
So one, one Sunday when I went home, I went home, I, I left, I went back to the group home, I came back the next weekend, and everybody was going up at 400 house to play games, because 400 used to have all the, the, the Sega and the, um, the Nintendo and um, all those joints, you heard? And we used to all go to um, 400 house, because he had all the games, you heard? And we used to play competition. And and um, when I went to go up in his house, he was he opened up the door, he's like, nah, lad, you can't come in. So I was sick. I was like, why, why I can't come in? He was like, last time you was here, you stole out my house. So I was like, stole out your house? What the fuck you talking about? For? He was like, nah, B. He was like, nigga stole my game, you heard? So I said, 400. But I ain't calling, we wasn't calling him 400 at that time, but his, we was calling him by his government. But I was like, yo, I was like, son. I said, think about it. I don't, I, I, I go to a group, I'm in a group home. I don't even have a game, you heard? I don't have no Sega, I don't have no Genesis. Why would, why would I steal a cartridge, you heard? You know what I'm saying? But the nigga, niggas from my block, niggas I went up there with, they stole the cartridge because they got a Sega and all that in the house and they play at their house and all that where everybody be up there and all that. So basically, when they knew I'd go back to the group home so they used me as an example. They said, Larry probably stole that shit, you heard? So when I came back the next weekend to go up in his house, he was like, nah, you can't come up in here. So I was like, nigga, I don't even got no Sega. Nigga, I go, I'm in a group home. I went back to my group home. I don't even, ain't no, ain't no Sega, no, no game shit in no group home, you heard? He was like, oh shit. He was like, yeah, you right, lad. He let me in, you know what I'm saying? So. My, he, he let me right in You know what I'm saying He knew I didn't steal his cartridge Even though they, they lied on me Niggas on my block I think it was my man Dogman That lied on me You heard Cause he the one that had The game system and all that In his house And he the only one That benefited from Taking the game from your From 400 You heard You know what I'm saying So boom So now that That's young years You heard That's young years My guy 400 You heard I, I would've never thought My man 400 Probably would go to jail But my man 400 Grew up Cypress All that Running wild over there and all that, so baby, so so pot, so it was no no, it was no mistake that he landed in prison because all them niggas from Cypress and Patterson and Beekman and all them, they all went to jail back in the days. They all go to jail, you heard. And a lot of them down there was going to jail for bodies, you heard. Everybody from down there, Cypress and Beekman and Patterson and Mount Haven and um all that shit over there, they was in jail for bodies in '91. You heard on the Anna, you heard. You know what I'm saying, and um, and um, so my guy, one, I ain't never think that I was gonna see my guy in jail. So boom, one day I get locked up. I'm doing, I'm doing six building time, but in the four building, the nine four for a gun. I got caught with a gun, and um, I see four hundred co coming down the hall. I'm like, oh shit, this, you heard? He was going by Uptown at this time. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't four hundred at this time. Four hundred was his Don Moon name. But um, he was going by Uptown at this time. So I ran into him. I'm like, yo, Uptown was good, nigga. Everybody in the building calling him Uptown. You heard? I'm, I'm, I'm in the pens. You heard? I'm hearing niggas talking about him. You heard? I'm, I'm feeling good because I'm like, yeah, my guy Uptown 400 keeping it 100 up in here. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing niggas talking about him in the pens. You heard? Boom, 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 boom. You heard? He had, he had, he had, a little, he had his beef in there too on the island. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, but. He wound up going up north like everybody on the island. Boom, boom. They had a lot that copped out to some time or got blue the crowd, whatever. So I wound up going home, but 400 wound up staying in there. And I wound up catching a new one. Then I'm up in I'm up in I'm up in Wendy. I run into him. He down moo, but I'm not down moo no more. I left that blood shit alone at this time. Boom boom. So I run into him. We on the same company. So, you like, oh, everything is all good. We eating together, you heard? But my man 400, he on he, he on his blood shit, but he on his he on his blood FOI shit, you heard? Cuz he rocking with the with the FOI brother Bishmi, you heard? And he going to the um the classes, you heard? They, he going to all the FOI classes. My man 400 is is, is is knowledgeable, B, you heard? He do a lot of reading. He, all he do is read books, all he do is spit literature, you know what I'm saying? All he talk about is what, what we ain't supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying? What we supposed to be doing and what we not supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying? His shit was with the police, B, you heard? That nigga was coming at police crazy, B. My man, Mr. 400, salute, you heard? He was on his he was on his militant shit. You heard? He was writing police up. He was cursing police out. He was on his Malcolm X shit. Yeah, B. Yeah, B. I got the shirt on. My Mr. Four, my man, Mr. Four Hundred, was on his blood Malcolm X shit. B. Word to my mother, man. Salute, Four Hundred. You out there? You gonna see the video? You heard? My man, Four Hundred, was on his Malcolm X shit, teaching the homies. 
You heard? Showing the homies, telling the homies the real. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Letting the homies the real. Nobody can match it. Rockin' the drip, getting me, that's a habit. Walk in the store like I gotta have it. Don't check the price.